Hello Guardians, welcome back to another weekly reset by me, Right Way Gaming, of course. Right, so today what have we got to talk about? Well, we've got the usual stuff, the milestones, the nightfall, the raid challenge, but we are also only one week away from Curse of Osiris being launched, so I'll go into a little bit of detail on how that's going to change my schedule and how it will benefit me. But let's first start off with the lovely milestones. So, we have the flashpoint on the EDZ. I love hanging out on Earth, if I'm honest, so it's, uh, I'm happy with that. Daily challenge, which I'm going to go through, is basically complete five challenges. Then we have the nightfall, which I'll go into later, Leviathan, Call to Arms, and Clan XP, all the usual stuff. So, let's go to the Nightfall. Let's see what we've got, which I've got a rough idea of anyway, but let's not be mistaken and let's just do things properly. So, it is Savathun's Song Strike. We have Momentum and Time Warp Anomalies, which, if I remember rightly, this exact setup happened a couple of weeks back, about two, three weeks back, and it's a bit of a nightmare one, I'll admit. It is a pain. But it's not impossible. Um, you've just got to take your time and doing it and get it done, really. So, yeah, you know, pay attention to those anomalies. Kill them when you see them. Get your extra time in and make sure you keep sprinting to regain that health, Guardians. Then, as the raid challenge this week, I don't think it actually tells you what the raid challenge is. Um, no, it doesn't. Interesting. It is the pools, the royal baths, even, I should say. Which is basically the one where you've got to have somebody in the middle pool at all times. So, you know, if you haven't already, get that nailed this week, Guardians. Because, well, it'll be another three to four weeks until it comes back around. Which I'm sure you don't want to be waiting for. Alright, Guardians. The last thing I want to talk about is Curse of Osiris. What's coming up and how it's going to change. Things a little bit. So, launches on the 5th of December, which is a Tuesday which obviously is Tuesday is today, reset day is staying on a Tuesday, and they will be changing the reset times for everything as far as I'm, I'm aware, which means that the weekly reset will now happen 5pm my time, which is more convenient for me because I get home at 6, which means you can expect the weekly reset video for 7pm on a Tuesday, which is perfect for me because it means I'm actually relevant now along with all the other content creators. Whoop whoop! It also means I'll be able to get you the Cade maps, everything like that, more relevant timing as well. It also means that Zer will be resetting at the same time on a Friday, which I'd imagine will be 5pm Friday. So, again, I can bring that video to you pretty much straight away, probably a little bit earlier, 6pm on a Friday. Um, and not only that, but we're going to have tons more content to cover, so definitely stick around because I'll be covering every aspect of Curse of Osiris in every way I can. Um, and that is pretty much it, Guardians. Um, obviously, tomorrow we have the next reveal stream from Bungie, which apparently has Luke Smith and Mark Norsworthy in there, but I am very sceptical about that because they actually didn't say it would be on stream. It just said that they will be taking, well, answering questions. Now, that could be on Twitter. It could be in the this week at Bungie. It could be any other format. It doesn't have to be on the stream, but I am assuming it will be so I will be watching that, and if I find anything interesting in it, I'll break it down. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Catch you next time, Guardians.